Hey everybody, what up? All right, so in this video, we're talking about whether or not Unity Engine or Unreal Engine is the better engine to use for your next video game. And I mentioned these two because these two are by far and away the, the most popular uh, game engines that you can use when it comes to making your next game. And both of these engines are capable of AAA development, uh, although there are pros and cons to each one of them. Uh, so Unity Engine, let's start with that. Uh, th this is the most widely used engine. You can see it's got 3.6 billion downloads per month. Uh, so it's very beginner friendly when it comes to game engines. And I, I also want to mention, though, that when you're doing game development, I think none of it is really beginner friendly. It takes forever to get up and running. There's so much to learn. Uh, but Unity does have a gentler learning curve when it comes to just getting started. Uh, much of the reason for that is the C-sharp language is a lot easier to work with than C++. And then I would also argue the uh, Blueprints language that Unreal, Eng uh, that Unreal Engine uses. So uh, Unreal Engine, one of the benefits over Unity is that you're able to actually edit the source code itself. So you have access to the C++ source code of the engine. You could submit bug reports uh, and you could much in my opinion much easier make um, you know your own custom components and things in C++ that integrate directly into the engine uh, much easier than you can with Unity so Unity behind the scenes is also C++ but you're using C, uh, C Sharp to integrate uh, into the the APIs that are available for Unity but you're not able to actually uh, debug its behind the scenes source code so that said though the error handling is much easier in Unity because there's only uh, certain ways that you can interact with the engine, and it's just much easier. Uh, I get all kinds of crazy errors when my game fails to build or just crashes at runtime. Um, usually it's some sort of, like, inner, like if, if it's something coming from the core game library, then it's very difficult to track down. Now, one of the main reasons to actually use either one of these two game engines is the assets that are already created for you. Um, Unity has the Unity Asset Store, and there's just simply tons of assets that you can tap into where you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And they have a larger asset store than Unreal Engine. Uh, but that said, Unreal Engine's asset store is called Fab, and that's also got a ton of stuff available as well. So this can save you a lot of time when it comes to video game development. It's one of the things that I think are lacking in pretty much all the other engines. They just don't have this level of support. And some of these plugins would liter literally take you years to create by yourself. Now, when we're talking about Unreal Engine, it does have this uh, blueprint language, which is a proprietary way of uh, writing code without having to write C++. So that's one of the downsides with Unreal Engine is a lot of people just don't want to do C++. And you can make full featured games with just blueprints. Um, for the most part, uh, blueprints are slightly slower than actually running uh, C++ code itself. But a lot of this stuff is, is heavily optimized. So things that you can do in blueprints sometimes have equal performance as that of just C++ code. The downside of blueprints, though, is that there is a lot that you need to take in here. Um, these little nodes that you're seeing here, uh, it takes a long time to get up and running with this, uh, almost as long as it would probably take like a, an actual video game developer to, to write C++ if you have pr prior programming experience. Uh, where blueprints are great, though, is it does give you this visual view of your code, and you know it's very visual in nature and um, and some things are easier to do in Blueprints than in C++. And you can also get instant feedback. So in Unreal Engine, you can actually put breakpoints in your Blueprints and everything and uh, see how everything is processing. Now, going back to the ease of use, uh, a lot of people think that you can prototype games in Un uh, Unity Engine much quicker than you can in Unreal Engine. Some people say it's it's literally months difference. Like you can do something in Unity in one week uh, and it would take you months to do it in Unreal Engine. When it comes to VR video game development, I can say firsthand I chose Unreal Engine for my video game King Crab and I don't think that that was a mistake but I also knew going into it that there was much less support for VR game development in Unreal Engine compared to Unity Engine. So if you're going to make a VR video game, 
in all likelihood, you probably want to use Unity because there's just much more tooling available. So all that said, so why would you ever use Unreal Engine for VR? And in my opinion, it's because um, it simply has, it's much more feature rich out of the box. So it has better animations, physics, in my opinion, character systems. Uh, if you're gonna be doing simulation and you want realism, like in my case, I was doing water, right? I, I'm using a water system that has waves and fluid di uh, simulation is, is very, very difficult to do. It's also very hard on your graphics card and it's uh, you know G very GPU heavy. So Unreal Engine is by far and away a much more powerful engine when it comes to that type of thing. Now, one of the downsides of Unreal Engine, though, when you're writing code in C++, which in many cases you do have to do if you're going to be really trying to max out your performance, uh, that is the instant feedback. So they do have this live coding feature where you can live like uh, compile your, your C++ code and see it running without having to close the editor. But honestly, like the development flow for a lot of things is that you simply have to close your editor, compile your C++ code, whether you're using cursor, uh, or Visual Studio, uh, or Rider, which is a JetBrains product for uh, Unreal Engine. Whether you, you simply have to recompile and close your editor all the time. So that, that does get a little time consuming. So that feedback loop of development is much slower in C++ uh, on the Unreal side. So another downside with Unreal Engine is it doesn't have as good of mobile uh, support, in my opinion, and definitely web as well. So if you're making HTML5 games, I think you're better off with Unity than you are with Unreal Engine. Uh, but mobile development, Unreal Engine is certainly capable of building mobile app games. Uh, but I struggled really uh, heavily when it came to like trying to write games that work on MetaQuest standalone, which is uh, just another flavor of, of Android. Uh, so it, it is, you know, the, the support is there, but in my opinion, the documentation is not as good. And the build sizes are larger on Unreal Engine than they would be with Unity. Now, let's go into the biggest reason to use Unreal Engine over Unity, in my opinion, and that is going to be the cost breakdown and also the trust factor. So Unity has a pricing model where it's free for individuals and small businesses as long as you're making under 100000 in annual revenue. So 100000 may seem like a lot to a lot of people. That's, that's really not um, in the United States anyway. So th that is nice that, that you can you know, play around with it for less than 100000 But um, you make over that, you have to actually pay for a license. So it's $2,040 per year uh, per seat. And that's if you are for revenue that's, um, I believe, 200000 or less. But then there's also the Unity Enterprise pricing. So you can um, – actually, I'm sorry. So the Unity Pro, that would be for, uh, for revenue of over 200000 And then the Enterprise license would be if you have multiple developers. So the downside with uh, Unity – actually, I'll touch on this in just a second, but let's move over to Unreal Engine – Unreal Engine, though, is completely free until your game makes over a million dollars in gross revenue. And that's per product. So your, your actual game has to make more than a million dollars before you have to actually pay royalties to Unreal Engine. So after a million dollars, that's when the royalty kicks in. And then it's still only a 5% royalty charge after the first million. So you don't have to like go back and pay 5% on the million you've already made. It's literally m revenue over that at that point. You're paying 5% to Unreal Engine, uh, which is a hell of a deal. So that is, um, is very ni nice. And also Epic has been much better when it comes to like transparency and keeping pricing models stable. So going back to, to Unity Engine, in 2023, uh, Unity announced like a runtime fee model. So it was charging developers like per install after a certain threshold and this was done retroactively as well so there was a humongous amount of community backlash like uh, m many developers saw it as a breach of trust and said that they were going to go leave and go to uh, unreal engine at that point um, unity eventually walked back on that and they also replaced their leadership and the company so it was a major problem 
So the bottom line is that Unity doesn't take a cut of your revenue, so it's not a 5% model or anything like that. It's just a per seat uh, payment that you have to make. Um, so ultimately, it really depends on how su successful your game is. I mean, super successful games on uh, Unreal Engine, you're going to end up probably paying more down the line. But in most cases, you're not going to make that much in your video game. So uh, it's just simply better, in my opinion, when it comes to a pricing model to go with Unreal Engine. All right, let me know what you all think and uh, check out my trailer for my video game that I created with Unreal Engine uh, for virtual reality.